There are three methods that we can use to derive a parallel minor scale from a major scale. I'm going to show you each of those three methods in the next three videos, starting with method one, which is remembering the pattern of whole steps and half steps that are unique to a minor key. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Let's see how this would actually work. So I have on my top staff a D major scale. And I would like to find the parallel minor of D major. I'd like to find D minor. Now we know that the parallel minor scale is going to share the tonic note. So we can, we can start by just putting the D here at scale degree one, because we know both of these scales will start on D. We know that they'll have different key signatures because the parallel major and minor never share a key signature, but they do share a starting note or, or a tonic. So now I'm going to use my pattern of whole half whole, whole half whole, whole to figure out what the rest of the notes should be. So scale degree two has to be a whole step above the D, which is going to bring me to E. Scale degree three has to be a half step above E, which is gonna bring me to F natural. Scale degree four needs to be a whole step above, which is gonna bring me to G. Scale degree five has to be another whole step above, which is gonna bring me to A. Scale degree six has to be a half step above, and that's gonna bring me not to B, but to B flat. And then scale degree seven has to be a whole step above that, which is gonna bring me to C. And then scale degree eight has to be a whole step above that, which is gonna bring me back to D at the end. And there it is, my D minor scale. Here is my D major scale, just so you can hear the difference. And here's my D minor scale. And I figured that entirely out from just following the pattern of whole and half steps. Notice this is pretty straightforward. It will always get us the correct answer, but it doesn't tell us anything about what the key signature for D minor should be. And that might be a useful thing to note. This method does not tell us directly, at least, what the key signature could be. If we, if we take a look at the pattern of uh, accidentals in the scale, we might be able to figure, out, figure it out and, and derive what the key signature is, but it doesn't directly tell us that information. So that is method one. In the next video, we will look at method number two.